every opportunity that we get uh, and to, to pass this on, fill the church with as much word as you possibly can. In these last and even days, the church, amen, is in need of being filled with his word. Uh, I'm going to ask you to turn briefly to the book of Colossians. Colossians. Um, Colossians. Um, should I go there first? Uh, well, I'm going to be teaching from the book of Colossians chapter 3 okay. and starting at verse 1. Um, but I want you to turn uh, to the book of uh, Psalms 18 and 28. Psalms 18 and 28. I want to uh, talk a little bit about that. And then we're going to uh, uh, see if we can dig a little bit deeper into the word of the Lord. Psalms 18 and 28. For thou wilt light my candle. Now, start at the, the 27th verse. 27th verse. For thou wilt save the afflicted people. Thou wilt do what? For thou wilt save the afflicted people. Those people that are afflicted. And will bring them down high looks. And he said, God said he's going to save the afflicted people, people that uh, is hurting. Uh, affliction does not necessarily mean that you are sick. It means pain. Those individuals that are having pain and going through some sickness, going through some hurt. Praise the Lord. People who nobody wants to, to have anything to do with it. Praise the Lord. He's going to save those people. And, and, and uh, we call them cast away. Praise the Lord. The people that is cast away, God is going to save them. People that has been counted out as uh, Mr. and Mrs. Nobody. God is going to save them. Praise the Lord. We uh, read them. But we'll bring down the high looks. But 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 those individuals who lift their head with their high looks and think they are better than anybody else, God is gonna bring them down. Yes. Come on, y'all. Praise the Lord. The Amen. devil Amen. is a liar. When he feels like that, he can overlook what God has made yes. and everything gonna be alright. Praise the Lord. We 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 you are not alright when you can push the people yes. of God aside and feel like you're better than them. Hallelujah. God is going to bring down those high looks. Hallelujah. Read them. But thou wilt light my candle. This is what he says. But thou wilt lighting my candle. Mm -hmm. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. Now, and the Lord will enlighten my darkness. Go to God. God is going to lighten my candle and God is going to light up my darkness. Hallelujah. Let me say that again. God is going to lighten my candle. Praise the Lord. And he's going to light up my darkness. What is happening here? Praise the Lord. See, uh, see uh, <clears throat> man has a candle on the inside of him. And uh, uh, um, Proverbs 20 and verse 17. Proverbs 20 and verse 17. Proverbs 20 and verse 17. And I'll show you uh, what he's saying. Come on. Proverbs 20 and verse 17. Hallelujah. Proverbs 20 and verse 17. Bread of deceit is sweet to a man. Say that again. Bread of deceit is sweet to a man. Uh huh. But afterwards his mouth shall be filled with gravel. Proverbs 20 and verse 27. 27. The 27th verse? Yeah, the 27th verse. The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. The spirit of the Lord is the what? The spirit of man. The spirit of man. Is the candle of the Lord. Is the candle of the Lord. See, every man has a spirit in him. 
Hallelujah. And that spirit, hallelujah, is the candle of the Lord. That's the thing that God light up is that spirit that is within you. Hallelujah. It's like uh, it's like a match, hallelujah. And the match is it has everything in the match, hallelujah. But you have to scrape it on something metal to bring the fire. Hallelujah. And other than that, you have fire in your pocket, but it's not lit. Hallelujah. Now, if you want the fire lit, praise the Lord, you have to strike it on some eyes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. They, the holiday, there is a candle in man. Hallelujah. And that candle, hallelujah, is the spirit of what? Spirit. Spirit of man. There's a spirit of man is the candle of the Lord searching it's, it's all the the candle of the Lord. Of the Lord. And, and see, when that when the spirit of the Lord touches the candle of man, it lights him up. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It lightens your darkness. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It moves darkness out of the way. Yes. Praise the Lord. It takes away your darkness. What you couldn't see, now you can see. Yeah. What you didn't see before, you can see it now. Because my candle is lit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I didn't know. Hallelujah. I didn't know God was this good until my candle got lit. I didn't know that God could make waves like he can make waves until my candle got lit. Praise the Lord. You didn't know God could bring you out of the stuff he brought you out but until your candle got lit. Now you can let the devil do what he wants. I'm still coming out because my candle is lit. Come on, y'all. Praise the Lord. I can see what other people can't see. Come on, y'all. Praise the Lord. I can I can do what other people can't do. Because I can see. They can't see. If you don't have the Lord Jesus Christ, you can't see. If God hasn't done nothing for you on the inside, you can't see. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God has to do something for you on the inside. So you can see. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because all before we thought we was right. Until our candle got lit. And now I can see the bad parts. And when I messed up and when I thought I had right, I see now. Praise the Lord. The mistakes I made. Come on now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Read on. Read on. Mercy and truth preserve the king. Mercy and truth preserve who? The king. Mercy and truth preserve the king. What preserve the king to mean keep him? Yeah. What keeps the king is mercy and truth. Yeah. Praise him. And his throne is upholden by mercy. Oh Lord. And his throne, his throne is upholden by mercy. Praise. That's the thing that keeps the king. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It, God is looking at truth. He wants truth to prevail. And then he wants us, hallelujah, to have mercy on people. Don't be living in here and don't have no mercy on the folks. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is a merciful God. And you ought to have some attributes of God. And the attribute of God is some mercy. Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you say you got God, where is your mercy? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you say the Lord has dealt with you, you ought to have some mercy on us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord have mercy. Then you ought to have some truth. Hallelujah. You shouldn't be, you should, when we see you, it shouldn't be a lie walking down the street. Everything come out of your mouth is a lie. Lie, 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 lie. No, no, no. There ought to be some truth proceeding out of the mouth of the king. Hallelujah. Out of the mouth of the king, I ought to be able to find truth there. If I can't find truth in the mouth of the king, we are in trouble. Hallelujah. God only preserve us by truth. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord have mercy. All right. All right. Amen. What's the next verse they says? The glory of the young man is their strength. The glory of the young man is his strength. That's, and the that's beauty, Hold on a minute. The glory of the young man is strength. His strength. The glory of the young man is his strength. The glory of the young man is his muscle. Hallelujah. His ability to lift. 
and the ability to go hallelujah hallelujah glory God to prevail hallelujah praise the Lord that's his glory hallelujah amen he woke up and and look at the back end of a car and pick it up that's glory Lord. And the glory of the old man is his what? Gray hair. Is his gray hair. Hallelujah. This gray hair means I've been through some stuff. I know some stuff. Hallelujah. I ain't no pushover. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I am not no overnight wonder. I've been like teaching tonight, but I'm going to try my best to enlighten you on some stuff that God has enlightened no, me on. God. Praise the Lord. Read if you then be risen with Christ, if you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. Which seek those things which are above. Now, uh, let's, let's in, in the beginning, let's kind of let's kind of get you acclimated uh -huh. to what Paul is saying to the Colossian church. The Colossian church, by the way, is a Gentile church, praise the Lord, who has adopted uh, what we would call Jewish uh, uh, history or Jewish religion, praise the Lord. I'm, I'm in a place where actually Praise the Lord. I shouldn't be, but because of the step or the stand that I've taken, it finds me, hallelujah, into a uh, into a situation where I'm fighting against the history of the Jews, and I'm also fighting against, uh, praise the Lord. Uh, I'm, I'm also dealing with my nature. So then, praise the Lord, at this particular point, I need some instructions. Because right. when two things collide together, you're going to either go with one or the other. All right. All right. All right. We, we're going to get there in a few minutes. All right. Here we go. He says, if ye then be risen with Christ, if you are then saved, mm -hmm. hallelujah, you have risen from the from the depths of integrity mm -hmm. or from the gutters of shame mm -hmm. you have come out of evil praise the lord you've come out of the world you no more in the world hallelujah now you have risen with christ seek those things which are above where christ praise. sitteth on the right hand of god where christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Hallelujah. Don't look where you came from, but seek where you're going. Don't think about, hallelujah, hallelujah, those old garlics that you used to eat. Forget about, praise the Lord, those cucumbers you used to have. 
Forget about the things, praise the Lord, that you come through. But seek after the things which are above. In other words, I want you to know, praise the Lord, that if you are then risen with Christ, you got to start looking to the ways of Christ. You, you, you can't think about where you came from, hallelujah, and, and perfect your future. Lord have mercy. This is a rough lesson, please, Lord. And when I, I want I want you to I want you to see something. Uh, one writer says, "Forgetting those things are behind." Praise the Lord. I'm reaching forward to the things that are in front of me. I can't go on with God thinking about, hallelujah, how good it was before I got saved. Praise the Lord. I know I'm going through some stuff. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But I got to believe that the God that I serve is going to take me through what I'm going through. Then I got to believe what, I, what is waiting for me on the other side is better than what I have right now. Oh, Lord Jesus, I mean, if I'm going to settle, hallelujah, if I'm going to still walk with the Lord, hallelujah, I got to forget some stuff. Uh, I can't take my yesterday's memory, praise the Lord, and fight my future because the devil is busy. Hallelujah. If you're not very careful, he will have you going back to yesterday. Remember when the children of Israel got to the place of discouragement. You can't get discouragement over here. The children of Israel got the discouragement and they held a conference. Hallelujah. They held this meeting. Hallelujah. And the meeting was, hallelujah, hallelujah. We should have died in Egypt. Praise the Lord. We, and Moses has brought us out here to die where there ain't no graves at. Well, praise the Lord. There ain't nothing out here. Praise the Lord. But this light bread, hallelujah. Everybody should have been satisfied, hallelujah, with bread baked in heaven and served on the earth. We should have been happy with that. Praise the Lord. But they was not happy with that because we said this bread makes us sick. We, we're tired of that bread. We have bread, this bread every day. Hallelujah. And, and, and we should have died back in Egypt. Hallelujah. We can't go up against these giants. There's giants out there in the land. We can't win this battle. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So they, they, they discouraged the people and all of a sudden Joshua and Caleb, hallelujah, hallelujah, got up to encourage the people with the word of encouragement. Praise the Lord. Moses and Aaron fell on their face. Every now and then you need somebody praying for you. Praise the Lord. When you get to the place of discouragement, you need somebody to lift you up. You need somebody to tell you what God can do and what you need to do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So hallelujah. So Joshua and Caleb, hallelujah, stood up and said, if the Lord find favor in us, he will, he will give us the land and we will, and these giants in the land will be meat for us. Whatever you're going through, grab, grab somebody's hand and say, whatever you're going through is going to be meat for you. God going to have you to eat it up. It's not going to stop you. It's not going to take you out of here. He's going to bring you out of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yeah, just shake your hand. Tell them God is a giant killer. God, God can slay the giant in your life. Praise the Lord. God can pull the walls down. God can make a way for you. The only, only thing he wants you to do is be in college. Praise the Lord. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Let nothing turn you from God. For God I live and for God I die. I'll let nothing separate me from the love of God. I got a hold to something, y'all, and I ain't turning it loose. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Come on, now, Moses. Come on, get going. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We walk by faith and not by sight. Come on, y'all. Praise the Lord. Faith is the directancy of the saints of God. Praise the Lord. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. By faith, I understand that the world will frame by the word of the Lord.
sitting on the right hand of power. That's what the right hand means. Praise the, the hand of power. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Whatever you need, just ask him because he's sitting there. Make him intercession. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. For the saints of God. Yes, Let's read. Uh, what's the next verse say, baby? Set your affections on things above. Now, listen what he said. Not on things of the earth. Now, listen what he said. Listen what he said. Mm. Set your affection yes. on things above Hallelujah. and not on things on the earth. Affection means your love. Right. Set your love. Start loving things. Yes. Of God. Start, uh, amen, or uh, 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 craving yes. for the things of God. Start desiring yes. the things of God yes. and not on things on the earth. Yes. <laughs> but Jesus, but Jesus. So how many have you are craving for the gift of interpretation? How many of you are craving for the gift of discernment? I want to know when the devil is here. I want to know when that spirit, wrong spirit, invades the church. Hallelujah! I want to know, praise the Lord, if the preacher that's preaching to me, is he right? Because I'm persuaded that some people is preaching ain't right. Some people, hallelujah, dancing ain't right. Some people laying hands on folk ain't right. Hallelujah, hi, hallelujah. I want to know something. Come on, y'all. I just don't want the preacher to know it. I don't know. I want to know something. I want to know something. Come on. And the more you know, hallelujah, it whets your appetite yes. to know more. Yes. Come on, hallelujah. You know hallelujah. something, hallelujah. Yes. When you learn yes. something about the Lord, yes. me, yes. the more you know about the Lord, the more you want to know. Yes. Yes. Come on, y'all. The more you know about the Lord, hey, it's just like this. The more you know about the person you're in love with, the more you want to know about them. I want to say that again. Some of y'all just went there. The more you know about the person you fell in love with, the more you want to know about them. That way the colon and I I ain't say this. <laughs> Maybe you fell in love with the wrong person. But yeah. Yeah. Don't mess me up. <laughs> 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 the more you know about the person that you fell in love with, the more you want to know about them. Because the more you know about them, the more you can please them. Right? The more you can please them. And you want to please the individual that you fell in love with. Come on, y'all. Some of y'all done fell in love to until you walked away from Jesus. He gave them up for Jesus. That was the wrong thing to do. But you did, hallelujah, because you fell in love with them. They traded, hallelujah. All right. Set your affection on things above and not on things on the earth. Don't, don't worry about earthly things. Hallelujah. God don't take care of that. Praise the Lord. Whenever you need, God don't take care of that. If you seek God, hallelujah, he'll give you the desire of your heart. Come on, y'all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, praise the Lord. He said, I take care of the birds and the bees. Yes. I take care of, amen, the flowers and the bees. Even the grass. 
praise the Lord. I put on a green coat in the summer. Yes. And in the winter, I put a brown coat on the grass. Yes. Yes. God takes care of yes. praise yes. the Lord, the lilies yes. in the valley. Yes. Praise yes. the Lord, hallelujah. Yes. And he takes care of everything that's in the earth. Yes. He feeds everything. Yes. Even them snakes, he feeds the snakes. Yes. God yes. sleeps, yes. he feeds everything. Everything is fair. God. Yes. Oh, so he take care of this because that's his creation. Yes. Come on now. Yes. And he said, look at you. You're more than all of them. Because yes. you got a soul. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on, y'all. Praise the Lord. Yes. You made in the image of God. Yes. Hallelujah. So you look like me. Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. God loves you. You are his masterpiece. Love me more than you do all of these other things. Glory to God. Crave for God. Lord Jesus, I got to have you, Lord. I need you. I want you. I got to have you. You got to come by me. You got to touch me. Hallelujah. Don't come here and sit. Praise the Lord. And don't feel the presence of the Lord. And get up and go home and be satisfied. No, no, no. I got to be anointed by God. I got to have the presence of the Lord. God got to come in my midst. I got to feel that there is a God. I don't want to live a day without feeling his presence. Oh, just grab somebody's hand and tell them, I don't want to live a day without feeling the presence of the Lord. I got to have him. My life depends on him. It may be a day, praise the Lord. The day that I don't feel him, that might be the day he come to take me home. And if I don't have him then, that's going to be trouble in the world. Read on, read on. For ye are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. Now, listen what he says. Now you are dead and your life is hid with what? Christ in God. Now I want to go over that again because I, I, I don't think that many of us understand what he's saying. And ye are dead. When you are dead, you are disconnected from life. Yes. 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 Amen. All right, Bishop. Amen. Nobody can be dead and still connected to life. When you are dead, you are disconnected from life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You just laying up there as a piece of wood, a piece of clay. Praise the Lord. But you are disconnected from life. Ye are dead. Hallelujah. Meaning the things of the world, you are disconnected from them. Yes, yes, yes. You're not connected to life, to the things of this world anymore. You are disconnected from, praise the Lord, the things of this world. They don't supposed to affect you anymore. Lord have mercy. Yes, God. Oh Lord, yes, God. I, I hope you're getting what I'm saying. Yes, yes. The things of this life, hallelujah. Look, uh, um, turn briefly to the book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 14. 1 John, 1 John chapter 5 and verse 14. Yes. And this is the confidence that we have in him. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. First John, uh, uh, turn to seven. Say seven. Seven. Verse seven. Chapter yeah, verse seven. Verse First John chapter five, verse seven. Verse seven. What does it say? But there are three things that bear record in heaven. They are three things. No, that's not it. Uh, Oh Jesus. Um, uh, uh, try. 
The second verse. By like this we know that we love the children of God uh -huh. when we love God. When we love God. And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. But this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. Uh -huh. And his commandments are not grievous. Uh -huh. No, good. no, that's not it. it. It says there are three things, praise the Lord, that are in this world. And that is the lust of the flesh. Yes. Where is that at? Seven. Seven. Yeah. Somebody read. There are three that bear record in heaven. No, that's not it. And there are three that bear work witness in earth. No, that's not is it. Is that not it? No. No, they are they're all these all the three things in the, in this world. The lust of the flesh. Chapter 2, verse 16. 250. 16. 260. 260. Read. I know it's there. Read it. For all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh. Now, hold on a minute. There you go. Praise the Lord. All that is in the world, Mom. All that is in the world. All. Somebody say all. All. All that's in the world is what? The lust of the flesh. The lust of the flesh. And the lust of the eye. And the lust of the eye. And the pride of life. And the pride of life. Now, Jesus combated the three things on hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. When he came out the water from being baptized. Praise the Lord. These are the three sins that Jesus combated. Praise the Lord. The lust of the flesh. He said, if thou be the son of God, command these stones to be made bread. The lust of the flesh. Hallelujah. Glory to God. These three sins is the only three things, only three sins. I don't care how many you commit, they got to fall under one or the other of these three sins. All of the sins in the whole wide world is found under these three things here. Yo, come on, come on. All of the sins that is in the whole wide world is found under these three categories. The lust of the flesh. Lust of the eye. And the lust of the eye. The eye see it. Hold on a minute, baby. The eye looks at it, praise the Lord, and desire it. He wanted, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The eye see it. You ain't gonna lust at nothing you can't see. You gotta see it, praise God. Yes. Your eyes get you into more trouble than you can stick a stick. Most of us in here, praise the Lord, looking at stuff we want, praise the Lord, ain't no good for you. Everything look good don't mean it's good. You can't handle it. You can't take it. Amen. All right now. All right now. That's it. Hallelujah. And the what? Lust of the eye and pride of life. And the pride of life. Hallelujah. The devil wanted Jesus to bow down and worship him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I'll give you the whole, everything you see, I'll give it to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's pride. Hallelujah. You, 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 a pride spirit is something that God hates. Humble yes, yes, yes. yourself, therefore, yes. under the mighty hands of God, that you may be exalted in due time. Cast all your cares upon him, for he carried for yes, you. Sir. Praise the Lord. You got to get rid of pride. Hallelujah. If you want to go back with the Lord, you got to get rid of pride. Yes. Hallelujah. Lord have mercy. God, I feel the Holy Ghost in here. Yes. Amen. I didn't know y'all was going to dry up like that, but come on, praise the Lord. Take this word and go home with it and read it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, all the three sins through sins is in three categories. 
and these are the three sins that tried to get Jesus after he was baptized. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they're going to try to get you. Once you save all hell and break loose on you. Once you say, I got the Holy Ghost, everything coming out of you. You're not going to have it easy. Hallelujah. Because you have got to make up in your mind. For God I live and for God I die. I ain't going to let nothing separate me from the Lord. Praise the Lord. The devil, was, the devil did not get mad until you got the Holy Ghost. That's what you have to say. He didn't get mad until you started coming to this holy church. He didn't get mad until you started paying your time. Coming after you, hallelujah. Oh, yes. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. You got to be prepared for him. Yes. And the only way you can be prepared for the devil, you got to answer him with the word. Yes. Only thing that, hallelujah, that he'll back up is yes. you put the word on. Yes. Every now and then you have to say, Lucia, 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 Satan. You the lion, one of the blood of Jesus is against you. Lucia, devil. You are a lying one. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. I ain't gonna let nothing, no little flimsy stuff like that get me. You gotta come with something more than flesh to get it. Come on, y'all. Praise the Lord. I need somebody to help me with this. You need to come on. Something else is not flesh. If you're gonna come, come to break it. Thank you, Jesus. Lord have mercy. Oh, Jesus. Did you finish that word? It's not of the Father, but it is of the Word. It is not of the Father. It is not spiritual, but it's of the world. Hallelujah. These three sins that attacked Jesus was of the world. And they attacked him in the Mount of One. <laughs> Y'all bring that one. Praise the Lord. Bring that one. Right. Praise the Lord. He was, he was in. All right. God bless you. Come back to the scripture. Come back to my scripture. And the world passes away. And the world passes away. And the lust thereof. And the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Now, the, the world gonna pass away. Yeah. And the lust thereof is gonna pass away. But he that doeth the will of my Father is gonna abide forever. Praise the Lord. Because what happened here? I been connected to life eternal life. I just don't have life. I have eternal life. Eternal life is life that takes over after the natural life leaves the body. Are you going to get it? Behind? So praise the Lord. When I'm finished with this world, I just pass on into eternal life. I don't die. Praise the Lord. I died when I got the Holy Ghost. When you got saved, you died. Praise the Lord. And from now on, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You pass on to eternal life. I got eternal life now. Life that just don't stop because hallelujah. I'm going through some stuff. Life just don't stop because hallelujah. The jaws of hell has got a hold to me. Life just don't stop because hallelujah. I'm giving up this natural life that just don't stop because the enemy is on my trail. Hallelujah. I got something else now. If we in this own world, hallelujah, hallelujah, have hope only in this miserable, we are most miserable people. Come on. I only have hope in this life. I'm in misery. Come on, Lord have mercy. Oh God, hallelujah. Somebody say praise the Lord. Oh Jesus. Hallelujah. 
I hope y'all, I hope, hallelujah. Read y'all, read that. Little children. What, do you, what verse are you at, baby? Yeah, 18. Little children, it is the last time, and as I, what and as you have heard that Antichrist shall come. Hold, hold on, hold on, my baby. Come, come, come back to Colossians. Come back to Colossians. Come back to Colossians. Our scripture lesson. Come back. Come back to our scripture lesson. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm on. Yes. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear. When Christ, who is our life, shall now, appear. See, your life now is hid with God in Christ. So he is the owner of your life. He got it now. Christ got your life. Lord have mercy, Jesus. I know some of y'all think I'm crazy. Listen, hallelujah. Christ is your everything. Yes. Yes, Lord. You don't have nothing un without or un from underneath the Christ. Everything you have now is stamped by Christ. He owns everything. Your walk, he owns your walk. He owns your talk. He owns, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, your testimony is Christ. Hallelujah, your singing is Christ. Your talking is Christ. Your living is Christ. The way you live is Christ. Hallelujah. Everything about you is Christ. You have a different boss now. Praise the Lord. You, you don't trade it in your old boss. Hey man, the old boss was the devil. Or the flesh. Which treated you bad. Hallelujah. You, you, you would, hallelujah, you had to do stuff that was against you. Praise the Lord because your boss made you do it. Glory to God. Y'all know you did. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You, you suck on those cigarettes and cigars. Praise the Lord. That was killing you every day. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You drunk the midnight. Uh, 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 praise the Lord. Uh, 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 well, praise the Lord. Amen. That air, midnight air, poison air. You suck it in because your boss told you to get out there. Wasted your life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, no good jokers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because your boss made you do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now you got somebody that cares about you. Hallelujah. If you're lonely, he's, he'll come and sit down by your bed and talk to you. Amen. Every night and day, get in the bed with you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He ain't got no money. He'll put some money in your Yes, he will. Hey, it's hurting. He'll come by and end your head. That's right. Thank the Lord. Put a smile on you. Talk to you about and tell you where I'm taking you. Yes. Now, this is the place you're going to spend eternity. Yes. In a mansion yeah. on Glory Avenue. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to take it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to take it to Glory Avenue Boulevard. Come on. Hallelujah. You're going to have streets running by your door. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. They ain't going to be no asphalt. It's going to be paved with gold. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Lord, have mercy. You're going to have no walls of your place where you live in. They ain't going to be just. In that house, praise the Lord, you ain't going to be able to get sick. You're going to be immune to disease. So you can't get sick. You don't have to worry about cramping in your legs. Come on up, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Hallelujah, I was preaching a funeral. Hallelujah, when I finished preaching the funeral, the boy said, man, you make this very tempting. I think I'm ready to go down. <laughs>
If it's working in my mind, I need to kill it out. Brothers, y'all need to say amen. Kill lust that's trying to separate me from God. In other words, this lust trying to bring me back alive. It's trying to have y'all ever been in the South? Praise the Lord. When we had made uh, wood, took wood and made us a fire. Yes. Made a fire. And sometimes when we got ready to go to bed, it was cold like this. We would have it that. And that means, praise the Lord, we would put logs on the fire and, and, and shut the draft off that's in the heater. Praise the, so the heater doesn't, doesn't, doesn't get oxygen from the air and but the logs would the blaze would die down and but it would stay lit all night hallelujah it would be burning all night praise the lord and when you get up in the morning all you have to do is wake the or take the uh open the draft praise the lord and sometimes you would have to kind of uh blow the coals and, and the blaze would come up Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, when, when an individual gets saved, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, glory to hallelujah, even though he is dead, hallelujah, the, the sting of sin is still there in him. He is just no longer active in committing sin. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But that thing is still there. And sometimes the devil want to fool around with your trap. He want to, hallelujah, cause the oxygen to flow in there. Teach us, so sir. Teach play. us tonight. Teach us. Teach us. Teach us. Teach us. Teach us. Teach us. Teach But you gotta tell that devil, no, 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 no. Praise the Lord. I'm dead and I'm gonna stay dead. All right. All right. Where you make it out? Fornication? What is it? Fornication? What is it? Fornication. What is it? Fornication. 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 Uncleanness. Hold on a minute. Praise the Fornication, praise the Lord, works with a member of your body. That's right. It does, Bishop. Now, I don't say kill the member, but you have to kill the action. Teach us, sir. Teach us, sir. Teach us. Fix it, sir. This member, hallelujah, loses his action. Fornication. Fornication is an ambiguous word and have more than one meaning. Fornication also means, praise the Lord, homosexuality. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Comes under the heading of fornication because it's an ambiguous word having more than one meaning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. You gotta learn how to quit that too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on, y'all. You teach us, sir. You teach us tonight. How to clean itself up. Hallelujah. We can't have shouting and getting on. Praise the Lord. And all this junk going on. You can't have no. You can't have no three or four partners in the church. You teaching, sir? You teaching? You can't have no three or four partners in church. You gotta have one, and that one alone. Let that one soothe your wife. Your Let that one praise the Lord. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Come on, come on. Let me say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Don't get mad with me. Praise the Lord. This is scripture. I'm just 
trying to get you ready for the kingdom of God. You there's some stuff you got to get rid of. God wants to send healing in the middle. God wants to send deliverance in the middle. God wants somebody to get the Holy Ghost. You get the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you get the Holy Ghost, if you get the Holy Ghost, somebody say Holy Ghost. If you really get the Holy Ghost, I mean, I mean, showing up get the Holy Ghost. Praise the brothers, we ain't gonna want one another. So, if you really get the Holy Ghost, I mean, really get the Holy Ghost. You ain't gonna want another sister. I'm talking about the genuine Holy Ghost. I don't want, I don't think we ought to be here just religious. With no power. We have somebody hands that with no power. We want power when we come here. Hallelujah. We want power. We want power. So when the resurrection takes place, I'm going to be still sleeping in the grave. And y'all going on up to heaven. Yes, Lord. Yes. I want, I want something to do something for me. I just don't want to be religious with no power. And Jesus said, after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, he shall have power. Is that right? 